over to the Earth Fair, one of my favorite places, and oh, y'all, I've been trying this new shampoo and conditioner. You won't be able to tell now because I just got rained on, but it is the Shea Butter, and I put it on my Instagram. Most of the ingredients are organic and that you actually know what they are, and it was vegan and cruelty-free. Relatively decent on the price, and Walgreens had to buy one, get one free. Y'all, it is moisturific, but yet not the kind of moisture that weighs your hair down, curly girls, you know, that gives it a little oomph and a little body, but yet moisture at the same time. That's exciting. But anyway, um, I'll come to y'all and show you that maybe when we get home, but you know, I was just thinking about yesterday I had um, my grandbaby and my daughter and her little family, her boyfriend and baby got um, got their first house and, and they're renting it and all, but it is it's all fixed up and it's a it's an older home like a triangle front with the big front porch you know and it's kind of out out in the middle of the boonies and uh it backs up to all these woods in this little creek and you know i was just watching her doing that and moving in and, and i have watched the baby and i came over and she was oh mom let me show you you know and she's all excited and you know what occurs to me about her is she seems to be able to cultivate success in her life with all the odds against her. You know, and um, a lot of circumstances that have come in our life, mine, hers, Christopher's, in these past few years that could have devastated us all, you know? I mean, at one point, Christopher's grades were plummeting down in the dumps. I didn't even know if he was going to pass the 10th grade. And now, He's a rising star, you know, and, and Carly having her baby and, you know, it's just being one thing after the other. But what gets me is it made me think back to how sometimes when it's like what you want so bad and like it's your only like chance to grab that, you know what I mean? Like nothing else matters because failure is not an option. And I watched that little girl, and failure's not an option to her. I feel like, I mean, I took him over some groceries, and I was just thinking about back about how her daddy and myself, you know, when we first got married for years, do we live on $40 a week for groceries. That was breakfast, lunch, and dinner, every meal coming out of the house. I mean, it made me... I had never grown up like that on just a severe budget and different things, but we meant we were going to make that happen, you know? And it's just like, you can even get to a place in your health, like where you're almost feeling like you're at rock bottom where I was at one time. And um, I know that was kind of random, but this is the point I'm getting to. I felt like I was at so rock bottom where I, you know, couldn't get out of the bed for many days. I couldn't hardly work anymore. I couldn't hardly tend my children. I couldn't tend to my husband. I, you know, I couldn't hardly make dinner, go to the grocery store. Everything was so dang hard because I felt so bad. And worse than physically was mentally. Was mentally how I felt desperate, you know? I felt like I would go into the bathroom many times and be so upset with myself that I couldn't get better and be the woman and mommy I needed to be for my family. I would beat my head into the wall, you know, and I would threaten to run my car off the side of the road and I wasn't kidding. If it wasn't for those children that needed me, nobody could take my place. I feel like that would have seemed like an option because I had gone into a spiral down so low that it was a depression that plagued me. I was texting with a friend of mine earlier and she was just like, you know, my health is failing me and my, you know, and the doctors, I'm just gonna have this surgery. And have you ever heard people talking about they're gonna have this surgery, though they know there's a healthier way, they know there's a, a clear path to health that they would just get on it, but they think, well, after this surgery, after this medication kicks in, or after this whatever, then I'm gonna get on board with the healthy lifestyle. Now is the time, you know? But worse than that, then people, a lot of people can grasp 
the healthy aspect of living and even what they need to do and even to the extreme means if you're really sick you need to cut out all the crap quit putting in even one ounce of the trash and fill your body with the building blocks it needs to repair yourself before it's too late and there's no you left some people can get on board even with the extremist mentality of that but what they can't get past is why they are worth it they tell me week after week different people different scenarios but the bottom line boils down to this they don't think they're worth it they can't understand how to snap themselves out of this situation of taking the time and effort to do it for them you know what I mean and it wasn't until I started to let some things go in my go in the house and let some things go and, and let somebody else do some things so I could repair myself that I started to heal you know I mean give yourself the tools take an extra twenty dollars and put it towards your food you know take an extra 20 minutes at night and prepare your food but see people won't even give their self 20 minutes because they don't think they're worth it because their kids are screaming for them you know what your kids can wait a minute they can wait or there's going to be no mom or dad to wait on you know even if you still exist you won't exist you know you've got to to try to create the thrive you know Try to create that so you can manifest the best version of yourself. Quit teetering back and forth. Quit thinking, well, you know, this little, quit cheating yourself with the cheat. You know what I'm talking about? I have this in one of my books where it's called The Cheat. Who are you really cheating? And we want to look away and think, well, this isn't working for me. I'm doing this pristine diet, but you're really not. You're really not even looking at the fact that every night you have alcohol with your your raw meal or every every night you are so stressed and wound up you ended up drinking no water all day and you ended up eating I don't know the crust off your kids pizza that they didn't want because they don't eat crust so then you ate it because you're the mommy garbage disposal I used to do that mess and then I used to think why isn't this working and people around me would say why isn't it working you're gonna let yourself die but inside I knew I really wasn't giving it a hundred percent and until I decided to turn over that leaf and really give it a go because you know what I had nowhere else to go nowhere else to go but way down to where there was no return you know it got to where some days I was so bad that I couldn't even jerk myself out of that in the next few days with a water fast. I used to use fasting as almost like a crutch to shake myself out of the funk I had put on myself because I ate a bite of this or a bite of that. Why was I doing it to myself? Why was I sabotaging myself and cheating myself with the cheat? It was because I didn't think I was worth it. I couldn't recognize myself anymore, you know? So all that ties in, you know, all of it ties in is are you giving it your best dang shot? Just like my little girl who no matter what is going to make it, you know? You look at it on paper and it doesn't add up. But she's like, Mommy, I'm going to make it happen. Anyway, I think it's encouraging when people, it's now or never, do or die type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Even when you think you're in over your head, you can dig yourself out, you know? I was thinking was if you want people in your life to be on board with helping to motivate you and keep you on track and even more so than that just stop hating on the fact that you are trying to take 20 dang minutes for yourself or $20 for that case you know for that matter the thing is 
you know, it got to where in my life where my kids could even tell a difference. Like, they could tell a difference when I was on track. And this was many, many years ago when my kids were little, especially my daughter. You know, little girls are very in tune to what mommy's doing. And she's, you know, not quite two years older than Christopher, but she remembers how dang sick I was, you know. And she could tell the difference. Mommy felt like playing baby dolls, you know. Mommy felt like letting her help cook in the kitchen and not becoming annoyed, you know. I mean, what's really sad is that um, the raptured one didn't stick around for the final component of my healthy journey, you know, because when you feel good and your husband can see you feel good and, and you look good and, and you feel good about yourself and your confidence is rising and, and you feel like the old you that he met, do you know what I mean? And um, and you're not dog tired at night when you finally get to lay in the bed. And you know, you did take a minute for yourself and maybe you, you decided you were good enough to have a little bubble bath after the kids were in bed or whatever, you know? Or if you're single, taking that time for yourself. I mean, taking time to feel good about yourself. But my point was this, is that um, when people can see the difference, you can even post your plan. Um, the plan of feeling good could be the title or this food makes me feel good or this food lets me be me. That's what the chart could say and on there is your basic regimen and everybody in that house realizes that when you do that, you feel good. You feel like playing, you feel like doing everything you need to do. You know what I mean? And when you don't do that, you don't feel like it. So it, it inspires people to encourage you. And furthermore, I, you don't have to push it off on other people. They will start to see the difference in the vital force you have when you start to really get on board and stop running the cheat routine on yourself all the time, you know? And you're really on board and you're really feeling good and you are shining in this vibrant way. There's going to be no way for them to deny it. And, and people want to feel good their self. You know what I mean? I mean, I can even now, Christopher might say, can you eat that together? Knowing that maybe it's like a bad combination for me or, um, and I don't really do that ever anymore, but I'll have to explain to him, well, you know, when I put the dates in the sauce with maybe the hemp seeds, I can digest that pretty good because in the past, I used to always have to remind myself out loud and, and to food combined correctly and, and add some apple cider vinegar to hot water before I ate. All these things that even, even when I would eat the wrong combinations, my guts would blow up to where I would basically be so ill and so disgusted. When you can't breathe, when your digestion is so bad that you have to undo your bra and lay down, that's an issue. That kind of stops you in the tracks of your life, you know? So getting people on board with you so that they can be your encourager, right? A helping hand in your journey, getting you to the best version of yourself so you can be the best version of you for them, right?